welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, here we are in Austin Texas and with the CTTM W900A and uh, the BART uh, reefer is Great Dane and uh, this isn't one of my skins this is that skin my friend Matt uh, Hodgson made for me and see him driving for him <laughs> yeah I'm just getting a cut of this job I'm not taking that not home on this one and uh, yeah, it's a odd thing here we're doing in this one as well. We've got the, uh, I, I'll explain about the open depths on the way, but I'll, why I've got to get ready for this. It's an air start, 3408. So that's a compressed air starter, not, not an electric. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of a cool thing in a way, like, uh, you don't have to worry about the uh, wiring or anything like that. Uh, it's just, well, I guess there would be electrical to operate solenoids to uh, release the air to the uh, air starter. Let that charged up energy go. But the uh, reason Just gonna get it by that trailer. Yeah. The reason I got the uh, 3408 in here is I finally uh, got the uh, open def working right, and I was able to. Turn right. I put uh, 16 open defs up on my uh, Discord channel on the open def. Uh, Section 16 Z mod open defs, and they've got 40 trucks in them. So, hopefully, I managed to get everybody's favorite truck uh, in there. And uh, yeah, so if you've got Z mods engine files, if you got one of those 16, which I can't, don't know which ones I might not have, but I got a lot of them in there. I wonder if I put the MBN in, I'll have to check. But anyway, and if you want a little more power, I, I've on uh, 14 of them have two additional engines, and two of them have three additional engines with uh, progressively more power. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. But the nice thing is if it's you're into mod trucks and Zmod's uh, file doesn't base file doesn't have your truck in it. This will more than likely. Well, that guy was taking a chance. something else new we got going. This roof cam and I can I can look around. <laughs> so that other one you had to you were locked forward. This is uh, pretty good for when you're going through some area that's really scenic and you want to you know, get a good look at it. And I apologize for the great big hawk and GPS on the dash, but the small one in the window corner uh, didn't load for some reason. So doesn't show up you click the uh, the dot where you want to put it and nothing happens so I reverted to that thing because I'm awfully bad without one wouldn't be in real life because I never drove with one in real life and I'd have to say I very seldom if ever got lost it's just uh, 
I get so busy yakking with you guys and ranting on about stuff, and then next thing you know, I miss a turn. So we're heading up to uh, Wichita Falls. Don't know if I've ever uh, done this trip. Motor sounds pretty busy. Just doing not quite 1600 RPM. Oh no, oh man, that was scary. Great big freeze. Thought we were crashing. These underpasses are murder. Once again, I got it locked at 60 FPS. Seems to work fine, like it's smooth enough. Sure takes a load off the GPU. Like the GPU's running pretty slow right now. Not having all that work to do. But like when I turn my head, it's nice and smooth. When I got it uh, set to 144 refresh rate, and it can get up to you know, if I'm some place like out in the middle of the desert, it'll run up to 162 frames per second easily. But when I get into traffic and trouble and it goes down to 70 FPS, it's really jerky. Because I guess I'd have to say the GPU is working real hard to try and deliver that big frame rate. And that makes it get jerky. So if I just put it down to 60, doesn't have to try and get that uh, high frame rate, so it just seems to smooth it right out. But pretty loud in this truck, and I got the volume turned probably down about a third of the way. That's wonder why. It just seems to be extra loud. Up outside again. A lot better out here. We're only going two miles an hour over the speed limit. Fort Worth. That's us. Oh boy. We're not so good out here at this. Let's see if we can do this corner without crashing it. It's hard up here, actually. It's hard driving inside or some of those other angles I used to like doing, like, you know, down here or whatever. That's easier as he waffles all over the road. Look at this paint job Matt put on here, eh? That's awesome. Really good. I really like it. back in here before we get in some kind of trouble. So these engines, these 3408s, they were never intended as a truck engine. They're, uh, where are they already? 130 miles to go and we're there. That's weird. Um, they were intended as their industrial engines. Like, you know, for running big gen sets and uh, primarily gen sets. Oh man, it's loud in here. Back out of here for a bit. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're big. Like, it's a big displacement engine. Can't remember the liters, how many liters they are. It's a lot. 
but uh, I think Cat put him to uh, use in the trucks when he started getting outpowered by some of the competition. They needed something in a hurry, so they threw him in the trucks till they could uh, get their inline program together. to the 3208 I used to have in one of my trucks. Turn right. 38, 3208 is tiny in comparison. Can't remember how many cubic inches the 3208 was. I uh, think it was around 800 cubic inches. Which isn't very big really. Without a turbo, it sure didn't make much power. But you had to drive it. <laughs> it's probably my experience with that engine in particular that makes me like uh, hopping up engines and having bigger power. If I went without it. <laughs> in real life and, uh, I would say I suffered for it but there was just times when uh, you just wanted a little more jam to go. Man, we're way outside of Fort Worth. Corner. Oh, sorry. We're not going to Fort Worth. We're going to Wichita Falls, right? That'll explain it. I don't think I've gone this direction on this road. Uh, not that I remember. Come down it. Head south. We're going north right now. Uh, CTTM W900 for sure a good looking truck but man the mod maker dude is a bit of a I don't know I have to say he's a bit of a nutcase I think he's I think he kind of went off the deep end or something but uh, he's not I'd have to say he's not a very stable character he uh I don't know. I think he's seeing shadows everywhere he looks and jumping around. Not too steady. I don't think he'd get the truck anymore because he uh, kind of went off the deep end, I think. Shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't really say anything without knowing for a fact, but it's what I heard. But I had a dealing with him that wasn't very pleasant. I'm not going to go into it, but uh, it was totally, totally uncalled for, and it was just like, I don't know, how do you deal with somebody who's off their meds, like, it's pretty bad. I feel for the guy, you know, I don't want to, you know, poke fun of him or anything like that, I'm just stating the fact that uh, dude went walkabout. That's a shame because it's a good truck. After 100 yards, turn left. Oh, Jake brake. Oh, it doesn't have one. 
Toe. Man, pretty rough on that tranny. bit but you know it's a nice looking truck the uh, it's crisp you know the modeling is good the poly count is nice and high you know the fenders are round the hood corners like the you know when you look over the corner of the hood there from vertical to horizontal it's very round it's nice but to me you know that's what makes a good mod and the back of the cab corners on the sleeper are round They're not all polygonal See where we're going. Gotta go left up there. Oh, I didn't tell her. See what her weight was 30, 34,600. Okay, that little triple up there backed into the dock, <laughs> yeah, okay, like that happened in real life, no, wait a minute, oh, oh yeah, we got a whole parking lot there to work with, that's nice. Actually, what are the mirrors like on this? They're pretty good. I should uh, should try and do it. The mirrors are so good on the ETS trucks. I've been backing them into their parking spaces. Uh, it was reasonable success, I guess. But it gives me hope that I should try it more often with the ATS trucks. You know, look at that. Made a mess of it right away. Didn't take long. Well, that's the one thing with those ETS trucks is, man, they're quick to respond. So, uh, that's not good. I'm going to have to rely on this one. I have no idea where the spot is now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Just try and imagine our way back here, I think. Something like that, yep. Yeah, that right hand mirrors shades of John Ruda's XL. Plus, okay, so why does it look okay there when I zoom in? Puts the bar right in the middle, see that? I let that go. I can lean back here. I need back. No, it kind of messes it up. Anyway, we're here. Yeah. Didn't use that much fuel, really, for a great big monster engine. Let's see if I can remember to look up the... Uh, um, cubic capacity of that engine put it in the uh, description so here we are done deal but yeah like you know boy what's not to like about this truck other than you can't get it it's kind of a bummer 
But, uh, yeah, and then a nice paint job on there, courtesy of Matt. Good stuff. He even put my, uh, put my name on the door for me there. Sweet. Very cool. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, as always, take care. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.